Something big just happened, and most people have no idea how much it could change the way the internet works. At Build 2025, Microsoft dropped over 50 new AI tools, not minor updates. Tools designed to create something they're calling the agentic web, a version of the internet powered not by clicks or queries, but by autonomous AI agents that can think, act, and make decisions on their own. This isn't about making Bing smarter or giving Word a new feature. This is about transforming how digital systems interact with humans, with each other, and with data itself. This could change everything from how apps are built to how businesses operate and how users experience the web. So what exactly is the agentic web? What tools did Microsoft unveil and why are so many developers and enterprises paying attention right now? Let's unpack what really went down. What is the agentic web and why it changes everything? Right now, most people interact with AI the same way they interact with a search bar. You ask a question, you get an answer, that's reactive AI. It doesn't do anything unless you tell it to. But the agentic web flips that dynamic. Instead of waiting for commands, agents operate proactively. They initiate actions, coordinate with other agents, manage tasks, and complete goals based on context. And they do it with minimal, or sometimes zero, human involvement. At Build 2025, Microsoft's CTO Kevin Scott described this as a fundamental shift in how humans use technology. The old model, clicks, prompts, inputs, is giving way to intelligent agents that remember, reason, and act. Microsoft's Frank Shaw added that with advances in memory and reasoning, AI models are now capable of solving problems in entirely new ways. What makes this significant is that these agents aren't confined to one tool or app. They work across systems, collaborating, making decisions, adjusting strategies mid-process. They can automate workflows that would otherwise require teams of people, and they can do it with access to context that spans files, calendars, databases, and more. This isn't a conceptual vision. Microsoft is already rolling this out. These aren't just assistants. They're software components designed to behave like autonomous workers. And this brings us to the core of what Microsoft announced. Before we move forward, consider subscribing to AI Uncovered if you haven't already. We break down the latest in AI and emerging tech, clearly, concisely, and without the hype. Microsoft's 50-plus AI tools signal a new platform era. At Build 2025, Microsoft didn't just launch features. It unveiled over 50 AI tools aimed at building the foundation for what it calls the agentic web. These tools span GitHub, Azure, Microsoft 365, Windows, and more, marking a coordinated strategy to shift from static software to intelligent, autonomous systems. Starting with GitHub, Microsoft introduced an evolved co-pilot agent, no longer just a code suggestion tool. It now handles tasks like refactoring code, writing tests, fixing bugs, and even collaborating with other agents across the software development lifecycle. GitHub Copilot Chat is also being open-sourced into the Visual Studio Code repository, giving developers access to its core tooling and inviting community-driven innovation. On the enterprise side, the Azure AI Foundry Agent Service is now generally available. This platform enables businesses to build multi-agent workflows using open protocols like Agent2, Agent, and Model Context Protocol. Instead of relying on a single AI to manage complex tasks, companies can break them into specialized agents, improving reliability and making systems easier to maintain. According to Microsoft VP Ray Smith, this modular approach is critical for scalability. For developers building AI that runs on devices rather than the cloud, Windows AI Foundry introduces a local development platform. It includes Windows ML and ONNX runtime, allowing models to be optimized for deployment on Windows 11 and Mac OS. This makes AI more accessible in environments where privacy, latency, or infrastructure constraints limit cloud usage. One of the more ambitious applications showcased was Microsoft Discovery, a scientific research platform that uses AI agents to accelerate discovery. In a recent project, the system screened over 367,000 chemical compounds to find a non-PFAS immersion coolant for data centers, completing the process in 200 hours. Typically, this type of research would take years. What ties all of this together is not just the scope, but the structure. Microsoft isn't just updating products, it's building infrastructure, runtime environments, agent frameworks, memory systems, and open protocols that others can build on. This mirrors how Microsoft approached the early days of cloud computing with Azure. 
Now, with AI agents, it's creating an ecosystem that touches every layer, from developer tools to enterprise workflows. Kevin Scott, Microsoft's CTO, said the energy around this shift reminds him of the early 90s when developers could take small pieces of code and build something transformative. Today, that transformation comes from intelligent systems that learn, adapt, and operate on their own. Memory, interoperability, and the building blocks of agent intelligence. For AI agents to function autonomously, they need more than just the ability to generate responses. They need memory, reasoning, and the ability to share context across systems. At Build 2025, Microsoft introduced multiple foundational technologies to support these core capabilities. A key component is memory. Traditional AI systems typically operate with short-term context, losing information between sessions. Microsoft addressed this by introducing Structured RAG Retrieval Augmented Generation, a system that allows agents to access and apply information from large data sets in real time. Rather than relying on static prompts, agents can now retrieve relevant data dynamically based on structured contextual queries. This persistent memory is what enables agents to adapt, track long-term goals, and recall previous interactions. During the keynote, Microsoft's Stephen Batiste described how agents will be categorized into types, personal agents that understand user habits and preferences, and work agents that manage context across teams, tools, and tasks. These agents are already being tested across Microsoft products like Outlook, Teams, and Azure. To ensure these agents can function across environments and organizations, Microsoft emphasized interoperability. Through protocols like the Model Context Protocol (MCP), AI agents can share memory states, current goals, and contextual metadata between systems, even if those systems are built by different vendors. At Build, Microsoft announced it had joined the MCP Steering Committee and contributed two important updates, an authorization specification for better access control and a registry design to support observability across distributed agents. These additions aim to provide transparency and security as agents operate across enterprise ecosystems. Microsoft also introduced NL Web, an open project designed to give websites a standardized way to expose functionality to agents. Similar to how HTML structures visual content, NL Web allows websites to define actions and data through natural language interfaces. This lets users interact with web environments through the AI model of their choice, whether built by Microsoft, OpenAI, or others. By combining persistent memory with shared context and open standards, Microsoft is creating the building blocks for agents that can not only act intelligently, but also work together, learn over time, and adapt across different platforms. This foundation is essential for the long-term viability of the agentic web. AI at the edge and why on-device agents matter. While much of the AI conversation has centered on cloud infrastructure, Microsoft is shifting focus toward edge AI, running models directly on user devices. At Build 2025, it introduced Windows AI Foundry, a platform built on Windows Copilot runtime with tools like Windows ML and ONNX runtime, allowing developers to deploy models locally. This setup reduces latency, cuts cloud costs, and enhances privacy by keeping data on device. Microsoft confirmed that Foundry Local supports both Windows 11 and Mac OS, giving developers flexibility across platforms. Models can now be optimized for specific hardware while maintaining high performance and responsiveness. Stephen Batish, technical fellow at Microsoft, noted that improvements in local AI are accelerating faster than anticipated. Developments once projected over years are now unfolding in months, prompting faster rollout of offline capabilities. This is especially relevant for industries like healthcare, legal, and finance, where compliance and data sensitivity limit cloud use. With Windows AI Foundry, Microsoft is enabling intelligent agents to function in these environments without compromising speed or accuracy. As Edge AI matures, it's becoming a key component in Microsoft's broader agentic infrastructure, supporting use cases where cloud dependence isn't practical or permitted. The security layer that makes this enterprise ready. As AI agents take on more autonomous roles, they introduce new security and governance challenges. These systems are capable of accessing sensitive data, executing complex workflows, and interacting across enterprise platforms, making identity management, permissions control, and compliance oversight essential. At Build 2025, Microsoft addressed this by introducing Microsoft Entra Agent ID, now in preview. 
Every agent created through Copilot Studio or Azure AI Foundry is assigned a unique, traceable identity managed through the Entra directory. This allows organizations to monitor usage, restrict access, and avoid agent sprawl where unmanaged agents act without visibility or constraints. Microsoft also emphasized that while custom agents can be built from scratch, doing so without a lifecycle framework requires teams to implement their own auditing, security, and policy systems. Copilot Studio is positioned to streamline that process, offering governance features built into the development workflow. In addition, Microsoft has integrated its Purview platform to enhance enterprise readiness. This includes Data Loss Prevention (DLP) for Microsoft 365 Copilot, real-time sensitive data detection, and policy enforcement for regulated sectors. These features are especially critical in industries like healthcare, finance, and government, where compliance requirements are strict. By embedding these controls into its infrastructure, Microsoft is positioning its agent platform for secure, large-scale deployment in production environments, not just for testing or experimentation. What this means for the future of the Internet Microsoft's Build 2025 event wasn't a typical developer showcase. It outlined a blueprint for a new digital paradigm, one where autonomous agents, not users, drive most of the interaction on the web. These agents won't just help you fill out forms or summarize documents. They'll manage your workflows, coordinate with other systems, and adapt in real time to your preferences and goals. And with tools like memory, on-device deployment, and secure identity management, they'll operate in both personal and professional contexts. For businesses, this means shifting from reactive tools to agent-driven infrastructure. For developers, it introduces an entirely new category of application design. And for users, it opens up the possibility of letting digital agents handle increasing parts of their day-to-day -day digital lives. Importantly, Microsoft isn't building this as a closed system. By supporting open protocols like MCP, contributing to NL Web, and open sourcing key components like GitHub Copilot Chat, they're helping define standards for what could be the next generation of the web, one where agents are first-class citizens. This isn't about replacing the internet, it's about evolving it, from a web of information to a web of action. As these systems begin rolling out across GitHub, Azure, Microsoft 365, and Windows, the transition is no longer theoretical. Enterprises are already using these agents to handle production workloads, automate R&D, and cut operational costs. The only real question now is how fast the rest of the internet adapts, and whether other major players will align with the standards Microsoft is helping shape. If you've made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.